So we're going to explain you the new functions of the transmitter, which is actually uh, the same function as the RS6. So one of the interesting functions is instead of connecting the training mode, it is to be able to ask just for one position. Let's imagine your bird is somewhere outside and you just want to have one position. Well, you can obtain that once you have the, uh, the updated version of the receiver by pressing locate, pressing and holding locate. And you will see that the chrono uh, in the top uh, will change from green to red. And that's when it's asking for requesting one position. Once that position is available and obtained, the receiver will send it to the app like you will see in a second and you will be seeing the position position sorry appearing on the app and that's just one request which can be very useful for example if you've got a lost bird and you don't want to connect the training mode but you still want to know where the where the bird is and this allows you to save a lot of battery okay so this is one of the interesting functions now there is another function which is quite interesting on uh, this new version of the RTS and that is a sleep function so we're going to show you now how to connect this sleep function that is pretty straightforward we're going first to show you uh, that the beep is working so that the transmitter is not sleeping yeah okay we're going back to the menu main menu are we going to press the center of the screen uh well three times four times sorry so one two three you got a memory and then four and you will see uh the sleep menu okay there you can select the number of hours you want to sleep the transmit like in this example it's six and then you press and hold the six until it's red this is to send the sleep command to the transmitter and once the transmitter has received the command it will change from red to white and once it is turned off white like it is now you will see that the transmitter is sleeping you can check that uh, by the radio like we will do now for uh, for a moment by pressing the radio you will see that there is no radio beep at all because the transmitter is sleeping okay but you can also uh, so we selected the sleep function for six hours but if you want to wake it earlier, you have an option to wake it up. So to wake it up, you press again the center of the screen four times until you go, you see again the sleep menu and you press briefly under sleep until you see wake. Okay, and if you want to wake it up, you press and hold wake until it's red. And this will send the wake command to the transmitter. And once the transmitter has received the command to wake up, it will turn white and the transmitter will be woken up like it is right now. So you see, now it is white, so this means it is, it is wet. So like you can check here, further on the video, we're going back to radio, and you will see that the transmitter is woken up, that the radio is working. So that's it, those are the two main functions that can be very useful, you can sleep the transmitter, wake it up remotely, and then just connect it in training mode afterwards if you want and have it usual working. So that's it. Thank you folks. Any questions just come back to me. Bye bye.